Well, good morning, everyone. Look at this lovely view we have this morning. This is a view that we don't usually see. We're used to looking out at a, a pool or a Caribbean beach or something along those lines. But look at this. I feel like I'm in the forest right now. Is that not cool? And I'm freezing right here as well. <laughs> it is cold. I think it's about 20 degrees, maybe even colder. Now we are going to go off to breakfast and I think it's going to be to a, a place Matthew decided we're going. He looked up this place and I think it has a little 50s diner theme to it. So we're really excited to check that out for breakfast. And then we will be on to Sedona for our next stop as we head back to Phoenix. Woo! Okay, so uh, what is this? Ooh, no, I know. There's, I'm not smoking. That is just the cold air. Some of you guys know that we're from Arizona. Now we're still in Arizona, right? But the part of Arizona we're from is in the Phoenix area where it's warm and toasty. But right oh now God, we are crazy. we are here in Flagstaff <laughs> and we woke up and it's about 15 degrees today. The temperature dropped dramatically from uh, the night before last when we stayed here where it was uh, in the mid 30s. <laughs> and we came out and, <laughs> and we found this on our car. Um, I don't have any tools to remove that, so we're just going to have to sit here and wait for the window to warm up until we can get a little bit of water on there and uh, clear it off. But um, I don't know, it's crazy being up here, huh? It, it's yeah, like we're in a whole other world. I feel like we're in a, another state on a ski trip or something. Yeah, it's different, but we had we had so much fun. This was fun. This it was, was wild. Cold, well, this is the earliest we've been up, actually, so that's yeah. why it's the coldest. But. It is, it is. It's the coldest I've been in many, many, many years. Many years, so... <laughs> Got our hats, Sharon's got her gloves on, even Matthew's got a couple layers on. Yeah. Uh, so that's it guys, a, a quick look at us here outside. The property is beautiful, the sun's coming up, um, it's fresh air, it's high altitude air for sure. You got any, yeah. How are you feeling this morning with the altitude? Um, I'm feeling okay. I've, I've, for some reason, well not for some reason, but I, I tend to get headaches when I go into high altitude. So mm -hmm. I've had a, like a kind of a headache throughout the week and it's better this morning, um, but you know, hey, that's just part of the high altitude, well, I guess, it for is, some it is. <laughs> So we're going to head out. We're going to have some breakfast now. And, um, and then we're going to get down to the Phoenix area via Sedona and warm up a little bit. We hope it's a little warmer down there because one of us, and I'm not going to say who, is wearing shorts because he doesn't have any pants. Somebody forgot his pants. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Duh. Okay, well, we've made it here to the Galaxy Diner in Flagstaff. Um, the sun feels good, doesn't it? It does. Getting a little sun on you, warms you up a little bit. Still a little chilly here, um, but uh, it's early. It's 8 o'clock. I don't know if anybody's even in the joint, but they're open and they had great reviews on Yelp and we're going to check them out. So Galaxy Diner, let's see what they have in store for uh, for the cruise crew. All right, so we just walked into the Galaxy Diner. I felt like I just stepped back into 1950. It looks awesome. I mean, this place has, it's the home of a hundred shakes and malts. 100 different milkshakes you can get here and malt shakes oh my gosh it's kind of like a johnny rockets but i feel like it's even more nostalgic all right sharon what are you thinking about here um i'm gonna go with the waffle mabel's waffle this morning mabel's waffle matthew yes. should we even venture a guess as to what you're gonna have mabel's waffle two waffles over there all right well i'm torn between the big country breakfast or the breakfast burrito what do you guys think i'm gonna go with you know what i'm gonna go with don't you We are back in the car getting ready to head south towards home after a, a pretty dang good breakfast at the Galaxy really Diner here good. in Flagstaff, right? Really good. Matthew did a good job. Matthew found that joint, researched it, and said this is where we want to go, and 
It yeah. was a home run. Yep. It's, it was all about the waffles that this place had, and uh, the waffles were really good. I, I, I think they were the best waffles I've ever had. Oh, I come think, on now. I think they have, were. You say that every time, don't you? They were malted waffles. Okay, malted waffles are a home <laughs> run. So uh, so that's it, guys. We're going to try to get out of this chilly weather. The, the temperature has skyrocketed from the 14 it was earlier to 16. So oh we're warming gosh. right up here in Flagstaff. Um, I thought there's it was no about 30 maybe because it does feel warmer out with the sun shining well, on Well, a little sun never hurts anything, but it was. <laughs> it was in the 30. It was in the mid to upper 30s yesterday, but it has plummeted here today. So we're going to head south. We're going to head down and see if there's anything to be seen. We're just going to drive through Sedona. I don't know. If we see something cool, we'll share it. Otherwise, next time you see us, we'll be pulling into Phoenix, but uh, we might stop somewhere and just for a quick moment, uh, hopefully a, a, an Ah, that's beautiful moment there in <laughs> Sedona. We'll see what happens. So, come on, we're going to head out of here and go to our next stop, wherever that may be. All right, well, you know that we are heading south because uh, the temperature's already jumped to over 20 degrees, so it's warming right up here. Um, so we're traveling on a, a little little roadway called 89A. It's also known as Oak Creek Canyon. That's what we're taking to get to Sedona. You could go down the I-17 freeway, which is usually how you get back and forth to Flagstaff. But this goes directly to Sedona, and um, it's a little more of a scenic route. Uh, beautiful countryside, the woods, the hills are filled with green, you know, pine trees, evergreens, and stuff like that. And hopefully we can see a, a few cute sights as we get down closer to uh, Sedona. So uh, 89A Oak Creek Canyon, that's the route that we're taking down, and um, it's gorgeous. Take a look at some of the stuff we're looking at. an amazing weekend and today we had a wonderful breakfast at the Galaxy Diner and then we took off from Flagstaff driving towards Sedona we went through Oak Creek Canyon beautiful beautiful drive if you're ever in the area you got to make that drive so beautiful then we in Sedona here we decided to stop at we saw the um, Chapel of the Holy Cross um, I had read about it but I've never been here before and we drove by so we thought we would stop it is kind of a point of interest if you're in Sedona so uh, as you drive up the hill here there are red rocks so the red buttes all around you there's handicapped parking here as you can see behind me here there's a ramp for wheelchairs also stairs so if you also have strollers families with kids have strollers wheelchairs anything it's very accessible here all right so let's venture on up here now and we are going to check this place out together talk about some amazing views I mean this is unbelievable the gorgeous landscape of Sedona and uh, I'm not sure there's a better view to see um, all these uh, red buttes and these red rocks from right up here what's the name of this yeah. place again the Chapel of the Holy Cross Chapel of the Holy Cross thank you good work Sharon you're so smart um, but it's beautiful here and uh, I don't know take another look right over our heads well our weekend is officially coming to an end we had an amazing morning starting off at the Galaxy Diner for breakfast, 
traveling down the Oak Creek Canyon to Sedona and checking out some amazing views there. There's so much more we'd like to see there, so we're gonna have to come back again another time when we have more time. So, but we need to get back home. We were lucky enough we got to stop at one place that we wanted to stop at, which was the Chapel of the Holy Cross, and that place had some amazing views, probably some of the best views in all of Sedona. It was an awesome weekend out here up north and I hope we can do something like it again. All right, so once again, we had an amazing time. I hope you had a great time kind of following along with us, us bringing you along. And until next time, safe travels and we will see you again soon.